Hello class, good morning and welcome. In today's video, we will learn about ABAB basic syntax. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The statement. ABAB source program consists of commands and ABAB statements. Every statement in ABAB begins with a keyword, as we discussed earlier, and ends with a period. And ABAP is not case sensitive, which means you can write your source code in short case, upper case, whatever you like, camel case, which is usually the practice in other programming languages. The first known command line in a program begins with the word report. The report will always be the first line of any executable program created. The statement is then followed by the program name, which was created previously. This line is then terminated with a full stop. For example, this is a system. The syntax is this report. Here, the name of your report and full stop. Let's see it's in real time environment. So, this is the keyword report, and then the name of our report, that hello one. Let's check it the syntax. So, our report and program, that hello one is syntactically correct. No issues so far. This allows the statement to take up as many lines in the editor as it needs. For example, the report may look like this. You can see here. Statement consists of a command and any variables and option ending with a period. As long as the period appears at the end of the statement, no problem will arise. Uh, it means you can use as, uh, as much as you want multiple lines to write one uh, line of code, like a statement and keyword statement and then period and you can give as many spaces between them as you want let's try let's spaces spaces and let's see so this program is still syntactically correct let's undo it this what just for let you guys know that it is allowed in a web and it won't give any error for extra white spaces or you may use multiple lines like this still syntactically correct now let's try this code on the line below the report statement just type this statement right this is a web tutorial so let's try this right this is a bad tutorial and period now let's activate this in a code let's process it process and execute so as you, you can see this is a bad tutorial let's go back Four things you have to consider while writing a statement. The write statement writes whatever is encoded to the output window. The ABAP editor converts all text to uppercase except text string, which are surrounded by single quotation marks. Unlike some other pro older programming language, ABAP doesn't care where a statement begins on a line. You may take advantage of this and improve the readability of your program by using indentation to indicate block of course. ABAB has no restriction on the layout of statement that is multiple statements can be placed on a single line or a single statement may stretch across multiple lines. So these are four points about write a statement. Now let's talk about colon notation. Consecutive statements can be chained together if the beginning of each statement is identical. For example, this is done with the colon, okay, operator and commas. We are used to terminate the individual statement much as provide and normal statements. For example, we have three right statements. Hello world. Hello above world. Right now, they are written in different right statements. Let's process them. So you can see hello above world. So what we are trying to do here, we are trying to use a single 
uh, statement single keyword of right for this we have to use colon and give comma separated between them hello back comma world and period now let's see what will be the output f8 hello above word same output we just we, you have we have used single keyword right statement here as you can see in this example like any other above statement the layout doesn't matter we have discussed this many times now this is an equally correct statement you can write it like this way you can write it like this way in multiple lines output in your report will always be the same that's a point which you have to understand so comments let's see as you can see in every programming language there are comments written against line of a uh, piece of source code uh, to understand the logics and whatever you want to write in your programming code so that other programmer or reviewer can understand your piece of code so inline comments may be declared anywhere in a program by one of the two methods full line comments are identical by placing an asterisk in the first position of the line in which case the entire line is considered by the system to be a comment Comments don't need to be terminated by period because they may not extend across more than one line. Let's try commenting one of our line like this. This is a comment and asterisk. You can see it is disabled and it won't affect our program and won't give any kind of error. We can execute it the same way. Okay. So here is one note for you guys, commented code is not capitalized by the ABAP editor. Let's look further. Suppressing blanks. So let's try this suppressing blanks. No zero command follows the data statement. It suppresses all leading zeros of a number field containing blanks. The output is usually easier for the users to read. Let's try creating that data uh, w underscore n u r with type n. Just comment it. Data. Type n of length 10 numeric type okay now let's move 50 to w underscore and you are move 50 to w underscore and you are okay then we have write w underscore n u r which is our variable of length 10 type numeric we have assigned 50 to it now let's see with no zero what will be the output we have to write w underscore n u r and no zero and let's activate it great we have got no error now just direct process it so this is the output 50 as you can see the length of our this variable w underscore n u r was 10 and you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it has automatically skipped all the zeros 8 zeros before 50 and remove them and replaces them with white spaces so it will be easy to use and easy to read for the user so let's see and try what will happen if we haven't used this command no zero let's remove it and not run it so as you can see it has appended 80 before 50 because it was a numeric data type so that's why it was a very useful command to remove unwanted zeros before your actual integer number as you can see here without no zero command output is 
like this i have already shown you with the real time sap app environment blank line the skip command helps in inserting blank lines on the page let's try this example just copy paste it to save our time <laughs> let's comment it let's try this this is the first line and in another statement we have wrote this is the second line and we have used skip command let's see uh, i guess it will skip one line and the uh, next uh, right statement will come after that here you can see we can also give number to skip like you can skip five and it will skip five insert five empty lines before your next statement you can also count them here one two three four five and sixth line you have the right statement of this is the second line right this was the output of our first code and we have used skip with number of line was fast five and it has just skipped five lines okay this command what is the purpose of skip command this command is used to dynamically move the cursor up and down the page usually a right statement occurs after this command to put output on that desired line basically it will be used for formatting like you are creating output uh, some kind of excel or word report and you have to skip lines and skip columns so it will be very helpful for you guys inserting lines the u line command automatically inserts a horizontal line across the output it is also possible to control the position and length of the line this syntax is pretty simple let's try this let's skip this one let's try it uh, here and put down all the previously done exercises now output will be this uh, uh, string and following to underline you can see this is our string followed by an underline throughout the page see it's a cool feature you can create the report with uh, through this line you can create tables and columns and uh, rows and whatever whatever you want as per the formatting of your report as per your requirements messages so this messages class is very important in sap ABAP. <coughs> the message command displays messages defined by message id specified in the report statement at the beginning of the program the message id is a two character code that defines which set of thousand messages the program will access when the message command is used um, messages are numbered from triple zero to triple nine associated with each number is a message text up to a maximum of 80 characters when message number is called the corresponding text is displayed let's see messages type if you use type e in messages it will display an error message the message appear and the application will halt at its current point and it will not execute further okay and if the program is running in background mode the job is cancelled and the message is recorded in the job log w for warning the message appears and the user must press enter for the application to continue background mode the message recorded for in the job log i for information pop-up window open with the message text and the user must press enter to continue in background mode the message is recorded in the job log a for uh, event the message class cancel the transaction and that the user is currently using okay let's move forward as for success this provide informational message at the bottom of the screen the information displays is positive in nature and is just meant for the user feedback the message doesn't impact the program in any way abort the message aborts the program and generates an abap short down so Error messages are normally used to stop user from doing things that they are not supposed to do. Warning messages are generally used to remind the user of the consequences of their action. Information message give the user very useful information. So let's try this example. So let's try an example of message. Let's display an information message of type i. Here we just typed keyword message. 
string of message text message I will give type of I and let's execute it so here is the message I for information message and this is the text of our message the max uh, length of message can be 80 characters plus yes this is a previously output window which have worked in previous example of underline so this was today's lecture i hope you liked it and learned a lot from it looking forward for your feedback thank you